Hello. Let's move you down. Piss out of the way. I'm not really sure why. Hi, everyone. A little better. The camera back a bit. Hi everyone. Still have a few minutes before we get started. A couple more minutes and then we will start and do some hip openers today and uh, I'm going to watch my knees a little bit. I smacked my knee with a kettlebell today so swinging it side to side and I smacked it on the side of my kneecap. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It'll be fine. I haven't put ice on it all day. It's swelled up but it's all right. I have it taped up. So maybe another minute, we'll get started. So today we're going to start our practice by standing. So if you have block that you'd like to use, you can definitely use that. You can use a chair if you have been using a chair. We're going to actually start in a standing position today. I know it's not the most relaxing, but we'll end up on the mat at the end. So just another maybe 30 seconds here before it's officially seven. Yeah, then we'll get started. So some hip openers, and we're going to start at the front of your mat. So let's step to the front of your mat to start. We're going to start in mountain pose. So mountain pose is nice and strong. Your arms are down by your side. Your palms are facing forward. Your shoulders are back, and they're rolling down your back. So let's take it up and around. Just a few huge circles. Coming up to your ears and down, rolling the shoulders down your back, allowing them to just melt down, palms face forward. Now at the same time, you're taking your toes and pressing them into the floor. You're squeezing the muscles in your legs, in your glutes. We're taking that neutral tailbone, so slight anterior tilt forward squeezing the glutes and let's just allow the shoulders to relax. Now maybe taking your chin down to your chest and lifting to the sky, keeping the shoulders with that nice space between your ears and the shoulders. Drop and lift. And let's face forward. Palms are still facing forward, shoulders are still relaxed. We are going to concentrate on our breath. So we're inhaling. As you inhale, your belly is rising. As we exhale, you're letting out all the air. Both are audible. You should be able to hear yourself breathing. Keep the tension in the legs in the glutes. Good, keep breathing. 
starting to train your mind here to kind of relax. And if any thoughts come in to your mind as you're trying to relax, notice them, but just brush them away. And know that you can definitely take care of anything that comes to your mind later this evening, or maybe even tomorrow. Now on this next inhale, let's raise the arms up in front, palms still face the back, our head tilts up, shoulders are still down. Take a slight pelvic tilt, and we come forward with the arms pressing back, opening the chest. Inhale, lift up, slide back bend. Exhale, just the arms come back. We're not dropping the chest just yet. And the chin comes come straight down to the chest now as the arms come back. Now let's add the bend in the knees. Inhale. Exhale, start to bend. I can't bend mine very far today. Next week will be better. <laughs> That's the thing. You have to listen to your body when you do yoga. If anything is painful, back it off. Inhale up, exhale down. Push through the heels as you come up into your nice arched position. Exhale here. Swing the arms back. We're still opening the chest and we're gonna hold here. And if you can bend your knees a little more than me, go for it. We're gonna pulse here. Keeping that tailbone neutral. So you notice my back is nice and long here. I'm not arched. I am not rounded. Pulse here. Even if you have to come up a little higher, that's okay too. You're gonna feel this in the front of your legs, in the quads. Good, now let's raise the arms here. Inhale and exhale. We're staying in this bent position. Our back is long. Inhale, exhale, reach back. Inhale, stretch the arms back, reach. So your thumbs, when you come back, will be facing me. So your palms face forward. Arms are rotated out slightly. Belly's tight here, and let's reach all the way up, straight the legs, slight back bend, hands in prayer. We're gonna drop forward now. So we're going back to that nice flat position. If I laid a PVC pipe on your back, it would stay there. Good, keep it tight here. Your belly is pulling into your spine. And if you feel comfortable here, we can take the arm straight out. Also, right by the ears, tuck the elbows behind your rib cage and lift forward. Now, that if this is hard on your back, I want you to lift up slightly. Do it from here with a slight bend in your knee. Keeping your belly tight will definitely protect your back. Pull and out. Pull and out. Pull. That's good. Lift all the way up. Slight back bend if you can. Heavy tailbone. Drop the arms and take the hands into a prayer position. Back to the deep breaths. If it feels good, you can close your eyes. That will definitely test your balance a little here. Make sure your feet are separated. Toes pressing in. Legs, glutes, and abdominals are braced. So squeeze them tight. Good. Now we're going to place the hands right on the iliac crest, which is right on top of your hips. You should be able to feel that little indentation on top of your hip bone. Your hands rest nicely there. Shoulders are relaxed. And I want you to take your hands and actually move your hips side to side. So I'm going to face you this way. I'm going to move them side to side. So we're actually lifting up one side and the other. Belly staying tight. Tailbone is still neutral. Let's take that side to side, moving through the hips now. 
feel good here. Let's add the arms overhead now. So as we gently push the right hip out, arms go to the left. And the hip pushes out to the left, arms go to the right. Swing back and forth. Abs still tight, heavy tailbone. I know I sound like a broken record. I just want you to keep that good form going the whole time. Now the hands come back down to right on top of the hips to rest. We're gonna take a nice circle now. Just think about the hips moving. So the hips are moving forward and back, side to side, forward, back, side to side. Just trying to get those hips to move alone. And let's go in the opposite direction. Take it around. And we're going to take the right foot behind you. It's going to face diagonally. So let's face you now. I'm going to take the foot back and notice how my back foot is facing diagonally. So from here, arms are reaching overhead. Try to get the arms by the ears. And let's lean back slightly and take the hip and press it out. Good. And again, take it over. Now with this foot back, we're definitely challenging your balance here. We're stretching through the TFL, which is in the front of the hip. Good. Arms come down and let's release that. Take that foot forward. Take the other foot back. We're just getting your hips ready for what's to come. Arms overhead. And press the hip out. Good. Lift. We're still squeezing. We're still in that good form. Tilted. Good. And let's try one more here. Up and let's release. Take that foot forward. Hands come in prayer. If you're still in the front of your mat, that's great. You can stay there. I'm just showing you what we're doing. So let's lift up the right leg. I'm going to take it and tabletop it. If you can't get it up this high, that's okay too. If you're still working on your balance, keep that foot near the other foot. We're going to make circles with the hip. So circle around. The knee touches the knee, and then we're going to come to the front. Good. Keep your belly button tight. If you need a chair to hold on to here or a wall, please do that. Good. Keep that foot flexed. How are we doing out there? Doing great. All right, take it around. Let's try one more. Guess what? We have to go in the opposite direction. So start knee to knee. Let's take that circle all the way around to the front. We tabletop and back knee to knee. Good. What we are trying to avoid is rocking back and forth, using our whole body here. We're trying just to use the hip to circle. Standing tall, your abs are definitely working here. So your core is working to stabilize your position. And one more. Wonderful, let's drop the foot, shake the legs out a bit, and let's tabletop. Left leg. So this is the one that the knee is bothering me, so let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go around. Up, standing tall, and up. If you're having trouble balancing, also you can take the arms out to the side if that feels better. Just try to stay in one place here. Remember, the hip is doing the work. The rest of your body is stabilizing. Good, good, good. Still breathe through. No need to hold your breath, even though it feels like it's easier to balance. You do need your breath. The oxygen here. Good, you're doing wonderful. Okay, in the opposite direction, take it around.
Wonderful job. Keep those circles going. Maybe lift a little higher each time. Ooh. Nice job. We have one more after this. Let's bring it around. Good, let's place that foot down. Wonderful job, you're still at the front of your mat. And here, let's open the chest and the lungs. Reach the arms back, drop the head back. Heavy tailbone still, even though you have a little bit of an arch in your back. Inhale as you lift. Good, now raise the arms overhead and let's take the hands to your heart. Dive forward onto your chair or all the way down. Hinge from your hips, lift up. Stay back, bend. Exhale, fly forward. Inhale. Exhale. Four more like that. You should feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs, in your back. Relax your head down. Good, we're not forcing anything. Exhale, and one more time. Let's lift up. Inhale. And exhale. Allow your head to relax. Separate the feet. Maybe as wide as your mat. Slightly bending the knees, making sure they're staying in line with the feet. Let's start to rock forward and back on the balls of your feet and your heels, making sure that head is relaxed. Maybe shaking your head. So rocking, push to the heels. Make sure you lift your head, hinge from your hips. Lift all the way up, let's take a slight back bend again. Wonderful arms by your ears. Hands come down to prayer. Wonderful job, let's heel toe the feet in. And we're gonna warm up on the mat now for sun salutation. So let's take an inhale here. And exhale, we fly forward. Inhale, let's take both feet back into downward dog where we pedal the heels one at a time here, just pedal down to your mat. Lift the hips a little higher and let's come forward into your plank and back to downward dog. So just forward and back. Four more like that. Making sure when you come forward into your plank, you have that long spine and you're pulling the shoulders away from your ears. That will give you that good form here. Let's drop your hips to the mat, hands under your shoulders, elbows are tight to your body, and then we lift in your cobra. Take a few here. And let's take four more. You can do them even slower than I am. That's fine too. Now elbows place under the shoulders. Again, separating the ears from the shoulders. They're lifting up nice and high. Wonderful job. Gently press your pelvis into your mat. And let's settle back in child's pose. So we're gonna come up on the knees. Oh geez, that does hurt. And then settle back to your heels. Let's take deep breaths here. Now, hands and knees. 
We're going to place the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And let's once again make circles with the hips. So the knee is going to come out to the side. I'm going to lift it up and make a large circle with the foot flex, bringing it down. The spine is neutral, so we're not arching, not rounding. Very neutral spine here. Let's do a circle in that same direction. We're trying to keep the body where it is, working the hip. Let's go in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And we do the same on the other side. Lift it up. Good. And again. Wonderful. Let's take it around in the opposite direction. Good. We're rocking back and forth here, lifting into your downward dog. And let's take your right foot forward into the low lunge position. A little pulse here if you're able to. Let's replace the left foot with the right and take that foot back and we're pulsing here. And let's meet at the front of the mat with both feet hinged from your hips. Oh, inhale here. Exhale, hands in prayer. And they melt down to your heart. Deep breaths here. Wonderful job. We're at the front of your mat now. We're starting in mountain pose. And we're going to do sun salutations two times through on each side. We're going to add a hip opener to the last sun salutation. I'll show you how it goes. We're going to take them slow. Let's inhale. Raise the arms. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, the left foot goes back into your low lunge. Lift the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Press the heels in. Inhale, plank. Exhale, we are lowering. So you want to tiptoe forward or have your knees on the mat. Keep the elbows close. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot is forward into that low lunge again. Lift the chest. Good. Let's take the back foot up to meet the front foot. Hinge from your hips. Lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're sitting back in that chair. Inhale. Exhale. Fly forward. Inhale, the right foot goes back into your little lunge. Lift a little higher with that chest, little pulse if you need it. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower to your mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot pulls through. That little lunge is here. Good, lift. Take the left foot up to meet the right. Hinge from the hips, lift up, inhale. Exhale, we're settling back. Still going, and believe me, if you need a rest, you can take it. Please take that rest. Inhale here, exhale, fly forward. Inhale, the left foot goes back into your low lunge. Lift your chest, wonderful. Now from here, we're going to take and drop the hip of the leg that is behind you closer to the mat. So we're going to drop that down right here. Good. You should feel a nice stretch through the outside of that hip. We're going to release that. Come back to that low lunge. Wonderful. And back to downward dog where we exhale. Inhale forward into your plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot is forward. Exhale, take back foot forward. Inhale, hinge from your hips. Exhale, settle back. Inhale, let's repeat it on the other side. Exhale, fly forward. 
Inhale, the right foot goes back into that low lunge. Remember the back leg. We're gonna drop that hip to the mat. So we're pivoting, drop that hip down. Even if you have to get down on the elbow, good. Release, pivot on the back foot. We are in downward dog with the exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, neutral spine. Let's drop it. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot is forward. Low lunge, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hinge from your hips. Exhale, we settle back into that chair. Raise the arms. Oh, beautiful job. Inhale, hands to heart. Wonderful. Let's pause for just a moment. Feel the breath. And here, if you need to stop and grab a drink, you can grab a drink. If you need a little break, you can go into mountain pose or child's pose. Just join us when you're ready. So as we make the transition from an introductory class to a beginner class, we add a few things. So we're gonna add on today, and it might be a little challenging, but I want you just to listen to my cues and see how it goes. If you're feeling um, that your body will not allow for these positions, I will give you modifications. So let's inhale here. Exhale, we fly forward. Now inhale, we're taking the left foot back. Now in our low lunge here, you can be holding on to a chair or you can be low down on the mat with me. We're gonna lift this back leg up as we straighten the front leg. So you're gonna push through the front heel, you're tenting your fingers or they can be on blocks. So if you have blocks, you can put them under your hands or use a chair. We're gonna push through that heel and lift the back leg straight back and up. Good. I want you to rotate that knee outward, opening the hip a little here, and then close the hip, the knee faces the mat, and we come back into that low lunge. We're gonna do that two more times. So your belly is nice and tight. Let's exhale, lift up, tent the fingers, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Good form here. Open the hip up, but close the hip, drop back into that nice low lunge, lift your chest. Last one's always the best. Ready, kick it up. Open it up. Close it and we're back. Wonderful job. Let's take the left foot up, the right foot back. Do the same on this side. The side's not going to be as pretty for me. That's okay. Tent the fingers, squeeze the belly. We're bringing that leg up and open. Rotate the knee to the outside. Close and back to that low lunge. Lift your chest. Doing wonderful, push through the heel. Make sure you're breathing, we're not holding our breath. Rotate out, close and back into that low lunge. Wonderful, one more time, lift up. Open, close and back. Very good. Come back into your downward dog, pedal your heels. Take the feet as wide as your mat and let's rock your hips from side to side. Let's let go with the right hand, reaching for the left leg. The further down the hand is, the more you are gonna work that core. Let's switch sides. If you are comfortable in your down dog, you can stay there. Making sure the heels are back, the toes are forward, releasing. 
and releasing. Good. Open up to both sides. Keep your belly nice and tight. And let's bend the knees and crawl the hands back toward the feet. Hinge from the hips. Lift up nice and high. Inhale here. Slight back bend with our shoulders relaxed. We fly forward. Nice. And let's crawl forward. Into your wide downward dog with a rock on the hips. Wonderful. Now let's add a little bit to the kick ups. So we're going to kick up one of the legs in downward dog. So you want to envision the leg going straight up to the ceiling. If you can't get it that high, that's okay. If you can only get it an inch off of the mat, that's okay too. Any of those positions, I want you to squeeze your belly nice and tight. So we're in downward dog. That's where we're going to start. We're taking your left foot and lifting up towards the sky. Now, wherever that foot landed, I want you to open the hip so the knee faces me. We're pointing the toe. I'm going to release here and drop the leg down. Good. If you need a break, settle back in child's pose. If not, and you want to go for it, take the leg back again. You can also still use your chair here. Rotate out, drop it and down. Wonderful, keep that belly tight. Everything is in a perfect position here. Lift that same leg up, rotate out. Good, and down. Now do me a favor, come down to child's pose. You can rest. There is no shame in resting. These positions are hard to stay in. This is a lot of upper body strength, a lot of core strength. Just breathe and rest for just a moment. On this last deep breath, let's lift up into your downward dog. And of course we have to even out. So we're going back to the, the second leg. Let's lift it up, open the hip, close it and drop it down. This time we'll go a little faster, lift up, rotate and down, lift, rotate and down. Good, pedal the heels. We're gonna take the first leg and lift it up again. Rotate the knee now, drop the heel down to your hip. I can't drop it all the way, my knee is pretty tight. Keep that knee bent and we're gonna drop that knee in between the hands. Good job here. Lift your chest up. Wonderful job. And maybe even crawl forward so your chest is laying on the ground if that feels better. Either position, you want to flex the front foot. Take some deep breaths in this pose. We're trying to hold these poses anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. And let's take the hands and lift back up into downward dog. And if you'd like to, you can add that leg straight up in the air. Awesome. Let's take it down. Pedal. Loosen everything up. We're going to take the right leg up now. Rotate the knee out. Bring the heel down to the hip. And keep the knee bent. Take it through the hands. Good. No, I definitely can't lean on that back knee, but your back knee should be facing the floor right now. Lifting your chest, tightening your fingers. I just can't put any pressure on it right now. And then walk forward. Deep breaths here. Like I said, 20 to 30 seconds will make a difference in that range of motion and the flexibility of your hips. Believe it or not, the more flexible you are, 
the less stressed you will be. You'll get more blood flow through the muscles as you lengthen more oxygen through the muscles, through the brain. And let's come up, pivot on the back foot. Come up to your downward dog. Pedal your heels. Take your feet out wide and rock the hips side to side. Wonderful job. And let's let go with the right hand. Reach for the left foot and switch. So the hands are reaching for the opposite foot. Squeezing tight. Using our breath as usual. So one more on each side. Good job. Let's drop down to your mat. This would be a perfect time to grab a drink if you need it. If you feel your throat is dry at all, you probably have needed it throughout the class. Let's take your feet now and pull them in toward you. So we're taking a little bit of a straddle here. We're going to allow that right knee to drop out to the side. We're flexing the foot. If yours drops a little further than mine, go for it. That's great. If you would like a little more of a stretch in your adductor muscle here, your inner thigh, just take the arm and brace it across the leg right under the knee. Gently press down, sitting tall here. And on the other side, we allow that foot to drop, or that knee to drop and the foot to flex. Pressing down, getting a little deeper into that stretch, sitting a little taller here. It's gonna make it all worth it. Now, we're gonna grab onto the ankles and gently press the knees in that same, or the elbows in that same spot. So right under the knee there, we're flexing the feet, sitting up tall. Should feel a nice deep stretch there. Good. Now let's release that. We're gonna take the hands and place them behind you. You can sit on a block if you're not comfortable here, or if you tend to round your back when you're sitting. We're trying to find the sits bones, separating the feet. Now we're gonna drop the knees to the inside. The other knee is staying right where it is. Drop, 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 keep the foot flexed. Release, taking these very slow. Take it on the other side, drop, drop, drop. Good, you got this. Wonderful. No need to rush these. Take it slow. Now we're gonna drop both knees over to the left. We're sitting tall here. Hands go to the back. Both knees are gonna come around. We're still flexing our feet and dropping them to the right. Sitting up tall. And again, to the left. Try not to push my knee too far here. Good, sit up tall. Back to the right, which I'm not gonna go too far this time. Wherever you can go. Good. Just want to notice if each time you do it, you have a little more range of motion, even if it's only a quarter of an inch. It's great. That means you're improving, doing good things for your body. Now let's settle in butterfly pose. So both feet will press together, all 10 toes, sitting tall always pulse stretch but just press into one side press into the other side and maybe do a complete circle here rocking from side to side getting one knee down getting the other knee down 
and in the opposite direction. Circling here. Good job. Now let's pull the knees together. We're gonna to take the legs straight out on your mat. Flexing those toes, reaching your arms overhead. Let's try to take that slight back bend here and reach a little higher on the right and left side. Now both hands reach to the outside of the right foot. We're still keeping those toes facing the ceiling, inhaling arms overhead by your ears, exhale to the outside of the left foot. Lift up, inhale, exhale to the outside. Inhale, exhale. And let's crawl to the middle. So we're trying to reach for the toes, wherever you are is great. Let's crawl the hands back and pull the feet back, the knees are bent. You wanna pull the feet back to a place where you can grab the feet. So you're grabbing the soles of your feet, keeping your feet flexed, toes facing the ceiling. We're gonna inch those feet out. Good. You feel a nice stretch in your back, not stressing your back, just releasing tension. Just go out as far as you're comfortable. Good job, let's walk the hands back. Now from here, we're gonna train the abdominal muscles. So as we start to lower down, we're gonna engage the core, and lift straight up. So it's our mummy pose here, lifting up. Your abs squeeze tight, your chin tucks to your chest, you hollow out in your belly, and you lift tall. This time as we lift tall, arms are going to reach overhead. Inhale and slight back bend, exhale. Hollow out here, inhale. Exhale. Let's do one last time. Shoulders released from your ears. We pulse here through the belly. Add one leg up. Keep pulsing. Drop that foot. Lift the other one up. Now reach forward over the toes. Lower down, our arms stay forward this time. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale. Now hands are in prayer. We are in this engaged, hollowed position. Your belly button is to your spine. All we're gonna do is twist gently, gently side to side. If your core muscles are strong enough and you can, you can tap those elbows on the mat. It's okay if you can't. Just wanna work through the transverse plane right now. That's why we are working side to side. We have to work in all planes of motion to make sure to keep our body healthy and happy and strong. And let's sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders and let's crawl the hands back behind you. Tent the fingers, stretch through the chest, sitting taller. Good job. Now let's press the palms together in the front. We're still relaxing the shoulders. We're pulling the palms in toward you. The elbows come out. So we're working through the wrists and the butt of your hand is coming toward the chest. Good, arms are parallel to the floor, pull in, push out, pull in, push out. Now we're gonna pull into your chest, press the palms together, lift overhead, down to your chest, elbows are still parallel to the ground. Inhale and lift, exhale. 
Inhale. Now from here, we're dropping the hands behind your head. Your head should stay in that same strong position. So not jutted forward, shoulders don't come up to the ears. Lift the arms so that they're right by your ears. Drop the hands behind you, open the chest. Inhale up, exhale back. Hands come back down to prayer. We are going to lower to your mats nice and slow. So chin to chest, hollow out in your belly. Press the palms now out in front. Rolling each vertebrae on the mat, pointing the toes, reaching your hands overhead. Good, point and flex now. Did a lot of abdominal work tonight. Let's pull the left leg in. And now, if you have a yoga strap or a band to use here without the band slipping off your foot and slapping into your face, you can pull your leg back. If not, take the hands behind the leg or on the hamstring or on the calf and gently pull the leg back. Feel that nice deep stretch. The other foot is still facing the ceiling. That knee is as close to the mat as you can keep it. We're gonna point and flex the foot of the leg that is pointing up to the sky. Let's do a circle here with the ankle. Getting those ankles strong is very important. And in the opposite direction. Let's drop the foot down. Place it on the other leg and pull in in your figure four. It looks like a lowercase four, that's why we call it the figure four. You can take the hands behind the leg and pull in for a deeper stretch here. We can even push the opposite knee out to hold the stretch 20 to 30 seconds. Breathe through it. Let's relax it. Straighten both legs out. Take the opposite leg up. Gently pull back. This one may be more flexible. And point and flex. And let's take a circle all the way around. And in the opposite direction. Bringing that knee in, flexing the feet, crossing it over. Let's pull back and hold this nice position here. Deep breaths here. Let's release. Take another full body stretch. So arms reach overhead. Let's take both arms to the left side of your mat, both legs to the bottom left side of the mat. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left and grab the right wrist, gently stretching through the right side body and now to the opposite side A gentle stretch here growing in length at our face both knees pull into your chest and let's rock side to side Maybe even do some circles here.
good. Massage that low back. That always feels awesome. In the opposite direction. Maybe even rock side to side. Down, whatever feels good. Let's drop the feet down. Straighten the legs out. Allow the feet to separate, toes relax to the outside, and separate from the body, palms up. Let's melt into your mat, just relax. You did an excellent job today. And I invite you to stay on your mat if time allows. Everyone else, let's wiggle your fingers, your toes, start to move your wrists and your ankles. Let's roll slowly on your right side. And let's press to a seated position and sit any way you're comfortable. Hands to heart. I thank you all for showing up week after week and sharing our practice together. Thank you for being here and trying new things. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you all very much for being here. And as usual, any comments or suggestions are definitely welcome. This is your class. I will see you next week. I thought we could work on um, some posterior chain or back body work, it will be excellent. So any other suggestions, definitely throw me a line. Thank you all. I will see you next week at seven. Good night. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Marie. I'm glad you felt that challenge. You are all definitely ready for it. So thank you, Dawn. All right, we'll see you soon. Have an awesome week. Bye, everyone.